<laughs> Hit point stone. Hot dogs and cocaine? Is this my dad's house? I don't know. Is it? Does he live in Essex? So, I'm out. Whoops. Zombie scientist. Hello, zombie scientist. All by yourself. You I can take on. Has he spotted me yet? He has. Good. Come and get me, zombie scientist. I'm going to wait right here for you. Alright, nothing else coming to join you. That's awesome. You going to kick out a uh, man hack or are you going to throw acid at me? I think a man hack would have already come out. Really? You're just going to run right up, are you? <laughs> I'm okay with that. Arms and Armor of Imperial China. Well, there's our fab book. And then we'll see what we can butcher him for. Give me something good. Power storage. Oh, well. Let's grab the carts. Definitely want that book. That's a high-end book. Don't care about the rest. Uh, I want to grab that and review it real quick. Uh, you need Fab 5 and it'll take you to 10. That's what I remembered. And we are currently at Fab 3. One quarter of the way to 4. So not too far off. So that's good. If we camp out and uh, have some food and water handy, we can get our fab power leveled up to 10 pretty easy. It's easy to get your fabrication up to 5 with various recipes and raw materials, so that's something we can do if we have some downtime in our base. Um, I've still got this indicator here. Let's just check this house out. I'm tired. I'm waiting for it to say dead tired. something to drink. Alright, we got a crack pipe. What else we got? Go ahead and grab that. Wheaties. Actually, while I'm here, close these. I can see one thing out south. That's a bee or a fly. I'd fly, so everything is clear that direction. Last door I can't do anything about. More aspirin. Dust mask hiding in the bathtub. I've got a gas mask, so I don't need that. Nothing out that way. Uh, duster, good for some raw materials, but that's about it. Another fairly dud house. All right. Ooh, firehouse. Really all I need now out of the firehouse is my uh, Halligan tool. <laughs> I get my Halligan bar. That'll complete my happiness. Turnout boots, I guess, would be good, too, just to have them around. Um, not seeing any other buildings I'm real excited about, though. I do want to see if these zombie horde indicators are anything to worry about, so I am going to kind of move out that direction. Alright, single zombie. Somebody coming up behind me as well. 
Wait, which one's... That's a regular zombie. What's out here? Another regular zombie. Alright. Come and get me, regular zombies. Let's get you guys cleared out of the area. through a lockpick there at the end. <laughs> rollerblades. No, I'm not going to take rollerblades. Don't care about the rest. Okay. Let's see what this one out the back is. And I think we're just about done checking the locals. I think we're clear enough that I could safely sleep for a period of time. I uh, got a few indicators up that way. Let's see what's down in the intersection. Oh yeah, this is the tank. Ooh, this tank is functional. This is not the same one I saw earlier. Spitter! Let go of the cart. Charge! Necromancer! Crap! That spitter's gonna get up again. Son of a bitch. Ah! Spitter's up! Die, Necromancer! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, you silly game trolling me hard. Come here, corpses. Alright, I want both of you guys right here at my feet. Butcher everything. Alright. These <laughs> freaking necromancer and a spitter. Alright, shady zombie coming and there's more. Wow, are those all shady zombies? They are all shady zombies. I'm okay with that. Got another garage opportunity. Come on, be a pristine vehicle. Daddy needs a new car. Man, I want to check out what's in this tank. Alright, let's jump back over here. Grab the cart. Not real worried about shadies. We'll kill them. Come here, you. Okay, only that shitty left in sight. Alright, everything's pulped. Oops, another one's shown up. Don't care about any of that. And the entrance is on the other side. Alright, drop the batteries off. Drop the drink. Let go of the cart. What do you got for me? Well, first, can I drive this thing? Uh-oh. Diesel, battery, and wheels. Holy crap. It's got the seat. It's got the camera control system. I think I can drive this thing. So 
this is a light tank. All right, let's start down here. Muffler. Some of the tanks, some of the diesel tanks are in pretty rough shape. Yeah, I didn't see any controls either. Oh, yeah, most damage controls are missing, so that's what I was wondering. I couldn't remember if it was in a different position than the seat. So, alright, can't drive it. Can't install controls with my skill level and such, so let's just see what items we've got. Um, I think I need a bullet puller or something to convert these. But let's grab it just in case. Can't grab the diesel that's leaking. Oh, steel jerry can of diesel. Um, leave that alone for the moment. Not going to take the heat the other rounds. But it looks like the jerry can is pretty much the other big find. Yep. Fell of the ground. Um, two tanks right next to each other. <laughs> Earplugs. Oh, zombie. Heat rounds. More NATO rounds. Don't have any guns or weapons with me right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run back to the garage. Got a few guys chasing me now. Actually, let's just drop this right here. Still got a couple of horde markers. Head back over and double check that uh, broken tank and the other vehicle next to it. Silver and gold. So that's one of the jewelry security vans. Don't need that. I need bullet pulling. I don't think I can use these directly. Alright, however. Okay, so we got those investigated. House. Ooh, we got a library. Library, gardening store. We have two libraries. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now I'm happy. That's a big part of what I was hoping to find. We may be spending some time in the wilderness if I get some decent books out of these libraries. Let's check this house first, though.
Come on. Let me in. Golf club, flip flops, don't care. Don't care. Ah, empty garage. Lawn mower, that's got the blade parts. Um, brick and a can. Damn it, no tools. Um, got the two liter tank and the blades. Oh, it's got the one cylinder engine. Is that something I could put on that motorcycle? I guess I don't really need to now since I made the swap and repaired the canister. Nothing out back. Horseradish. Definitely grab that. Drink the soda. And definitely grab the raincoat that fits. Or detergent. Cough syrup! Aha, uh -huh. they were hiding some aspirin in the bathtub again. I'll take the detergent, but I'll probably end up dropping it for other things. Steak knife. Got a pot back at base. Might need one down here for now, though. Don't need the steak knife. Nothing there. Close, close. It's getting dark. Close, close. Actually, I don't like the dark right now. No horde indicators. <clears throat> hey there, Dean C64. Welcome to the channel. Uh, let's see here. I think I've got the area fairly well cleared in that I think I'd be safe to sleep over here in this house. I'm just debating do I try to hit those libraries now while it's dark? So I'm gonna get dead tired real soon. Let's have some... what's gonna go first? Scrambled eggs. Alright, we're full and slaked, so condition-wise we're perfect. The little bit of damage we've taken has gotten healed by the fast healing. Um, I should probably do a quick recap so we've had some more people join or change out. Um, so, Cataclysm of course, Broken Cyborg, really really hard with the changes they've made to how the bionics work, the negative bionics. I'm also schizophrenic for the added fun factor of constantly hallucinating and uh, having my vision pixelate out. Um, there's the character sheet if you want to take a look at it. It is uh, day four of summer so we've last we've made it through the first season. We're on day four of summer which is an accomplishment all by itself given how hard it is to keep one of these broken cyborgs alive. Uh, you can see what traits and skills we've gotten up to. I'm hoping that these two libraries we've just located are going to give us some good books. We do have that one book that will get our fab to 10, um, but I'm hopeful we can come across some others. We're really going to need... The three skills I'm primarily looking for are first aid, electronics, and mechanics. And uh, those are what I need to raise in order to have the best chance to start removing these negative CBMs. The win condition that I've determined or, or designated for these, this series is to remove all the negative bionics and then also have Thorazine in my inventory to control my schizophrenia. Here's the list of... Here's the list of negative bionics. Everything from electrical discharge down to wire-induced stiffness. So this entire list is all bad things. Some of them very, very bad things. 
And then there's just a few good ones. Armor plating or alloy plating makes me a little tougher against damage, protective lenses, razor tip fingers, and joint torsion ratchet. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. Nope, I took it to start with. I took it as a negative trait to begin with. I almost never have problems with my head getting kill or heading head getting the damage that kills me because your ability to overlap head armor without the encumbrance actually doing anything. So, for example, right now I've got both an army helmet and a firefighter helmet on. So that gives me 17 and 21 protection factor on my head. So I don't mind taking the glass jaw because all it does is reduce the hit points on your head. And like I said, that's not usually what kills me. So I take glass jaw fairly often for my builds because head encumbrance has no effect. <laughs> it says so. Head encumbrance has no effect. It simply limits how much you can put on your head. So it's not like torso encumbrance that lowers your melee attack and dodge and so on. So stack up your head with whatever you can fit. That's mouth, not breathing, or not head. I don't have anything on my mouth that's affecting that. See? Mouth's completely empty. Zero encumbrance. So, mouth is not affected by the helmets. Not these two helmets, anyway. Some helmets, yes, affect your, your eyes and your mouth, but not these two. So my head is really, really well protected. Um, it's my torso, where I could get killed. Only your head and torso count for death. Everything else can get broken and damaged without you dying. So by stacking up your head and your torso, uh, you can help yourself out quite a bit. And I've got pretty good torso protection as well. I've got the MBR vest for 816 and the turnout code for 610, so that's what, 1426? That's really high. That's why I'm putting up with this high encumbrance. A good portion of this is from one of the negative bionics. I think 10 points of that, uh, plus 17, is from a negative bionic. So I'm actually stacked pretty heavy in protection factor in the two most important areas. So I've got a good amount of healing parts, so it's just avoiding getting ganged up on and certain combos of zombies that I have to worry about but with the way wander spawns are behaving and a a, a, a uh, malfunction in the game code that cause is causing horde zombies meaning wander spawn horde zombies to ignore the evolution factor I'm facing shock brutes hulks necromancers on day one um, so <laughs> That's kind of an update to where we're at. I need to take a quick break just to stretch the legs. Been going about three and a half hours, so I'm going to put some music on. Just take a real fast break. I won't be gone more than five minutes. Um, just need to uh, get the blood circulating again before I get back into this. I'm going to think about whether I'm going to go for these two libraries during the night um, right now before I go to uh, sleep over here in the corner. I'm just really worried about hitting dead tired and having zombies come at me. Because remember, I've got that bionic that emits the screech that goes out 60 spaces. So if I go to this library, I haven't seen what's over here yet. There could be hordes of zombies over here, and uh, they could all come streaming at me. And if I make that noise and go dead tired, things could get really bad really quickly. So I'm kind of debating it. But let me put this back on, and uh, I will be right back with you guys.